Each of the casualties is fitted with a timer showing how long they have before they die. This lets you know how long you have before they must reach the hospital. However, however, each time they are jolted or bashed, the timer will jump forwards 10 seconds. How long's on the timers? Well, I don't know. I presume depending on how wounded they are. Oh, so it'll be different. So we've got to choose one with the longest amount yeah, of exactly. time. Okay. The race starts in three, two, one, now! Right, I'm just going to get in. 30 seconds, waste of time. Two minutes, mate, I'm sorry. He's got 10 minutes, I'm having him. Eight minutes, 55. That's, it's you, it's you. You're in good shape, my man. I can look after you. There you go, sir. With the patients carefully loaded... Kick in. Richard and I were on our way. I <laughs> collected a cone or two there. Sorry. Never lost a patient from Thiel on my watch. Sure as hell not gonna lose one now. The roads to the state-of-the-art hospital on the other side of town were littered with abandoned cars. But Hammond and I had decided to get there as fast as possible, even if it meant incurring a few 10-second penalties. Don't you worry, sir. You just hang on tight. Here we go. Rams deployed. Well, the thing is, mate, you get a 10 second penalty for every single little knock. We might as well have big knocks. Unsurprisingly, James had decided to adopt a policy of no knocks at all. Hello and welcome aboard the Ekna Lubman. Your recovery is our first priority. We realise that you have a choice of ambulances and this is indeed the best one. This patient is really annoying me now. Oh no, he's broken free. Oh, it's a hazard, there it is. Oh, I'm sorry, that's probably 10 seconds off your life. Meanwhile, in the next street, James had encountered a Peugeot driver. Sorry to disturb you gentlemen in the silver Peugeot, but this is an ambulance and this is an emergency. It really is a matter of great importance that you make way for the ambulance. Thank you. 